to express our sorrow for the sins of sexual abuse and abuse of power by clergy, as well as for the healing of all those affected by this scandal. I look forward to working with survivors of all kinds of abuse, whether by clergy or others, to learn how the church might best respond to their needs as members of our spiritual family. I ask everyone to pray for the healing of the wounds of the church, especially for the healing of survivors of sexual abuse, and to regain our sense of communion with one another and our Lord Jesus. Thank you for your attention, and I can now take questions. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't, what would you say to him? He uh, very kindly called me last evening to express his gratitude uh, for my leadership in responding to his request for participation in his investigation. We had a very brief conversation, obviously, um, and there will be further conversations between my office and his uh, as we move forward with the investigation. And then I do have a follow-up question, too, on Father Pender, who was named in the uh, Pennsylvania yes. report. It looks like the parishes, uh, Bishop of St. Robert and St. Cornelius and Crocker, um, is there any indication that he may have done anything there, or are you just you're asking for information for people? We are just simply wanting to reach out out of an abundance of caution. We have no indication that there has been the sexual abuse of minors in our diocese by Father Pender, but just to be sure, uh, we are about, and as a church, it is part of our mission to help those who are in need. And that would apply especially to those who have been harmed by the church. They have the priority for us. Bishop, please.